Actually, between a half hour and 45 minutes to walk in. Really? Yeah, to the cabin. And then it takes about another half hour to get everything opened up and put on, oh, drained out of water, pumped out of water, and motor on. Mm -hmm. and, and drives over and picks us up. Nice. Any fish jumping? Oh, yeah, every time a fish would jump, we'd head down to that end and then they'd jump to the other end. They'd jump where we were. <laughs> I had a couple jump right where we were. When we left, I got down to the far end, and they started jumping down by the boat dock. Of course. If you let them, they probably would have jumped in the boat. You well, know, there was a time when Glenn was telling me a fish story where a buddy of his was out there in the lake, or out there in the river, and, and fish started jumping in his boat. Nice. He had salmon jumping in, red salmon jumping into the boat. That's how many fish they were. He didn't even have to worry about those old ones. <laughs> Good stuff. Now, one of these days, we're going to go fishing. Someday. I'd like to try out here. Yep. That'd be good. I wouldn't mind that. Got to get out in the middle, though. We need to rent a boat. Yep. Yep. We don't got no boat rentals here. Nope. We'll figure it out, though. There's boat rentals around. We'll take you out here. Ah, look at that. I wish we had one of those. Skiing. Yeah, jet ski. We'll go up underneath. No, that's like actual ski. That's a knee board. Oh, nice. I see what you're saying. That's one of those knee boards where you just put your knees on the board. Uh, so it must be a little kid they keep falling down. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our sailboaters. They're doing good. One of them coming back. Yeah, they let them go out further in the lake now. That's so, so be cool. More, more experienced. Well, they get right. them the training in the shallow. Yeah. And then when they get more experience, they bring them into the deeper part. Last time we were out here, they were actually showing them what to do after they flip them over. It was so cool. They actually dumped, dumped it over on purpose. Dad thinks that, yeah, that they were knocking them over on purpose so that they would know what to do. I really think that's what was going that's, on. That's what their instructors were doing, was teaching them that's what, what it to do. what it seemed like. Yeah. I know, I don't when see the chaperones over. as much today. They yeah. must be out further where I just can't see them. Because they're always out. I can't imagine they would just let them out. It's like a canoe. Saw a butterfly, fly by. You get out there in a canoe or a kayak, you can't sink that sucker. You can flip it over, but it will not sink. <laughs> Canoes? Canoes. Man, I've sunk one before. As soon as you tip it over, it sinks. What are you talking about? Kayak? No. Canoe? Oh, kayak. You tip that over, it's going to sink. It was, yeah, it was kayak. Yeah, kayak. Canoes, my dad, my so dad would take one and he was out there in the Atlantic Ocean when he was a kid. He'd flip it over and then hold on to it. And, they sit there and people be diving in thinking he's drowning. <laughs> because my dad learned how to swim the hard way. His dad took him out in the Atlantic Ocean, threw him overboard and said, swim home, boy. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> <That's good. laughs>